So morning, let's go for a walk. Scrappy obviously down there. California down here. Let's go. So this used to be the California amusements. Now been made into these little, nice little townhouses here. Used to be another little amusement arcade here, which has been uh, knocked down. Some old public toilets there, they're been shut. Home up here to Trisha's Chippy. Do do some nice chips actually, they do take away as well. Obviously the California Tavern and Tubnam Caravan Park, which we'll see a bit more of in just a second. But if you come to Scrappy and you've never walked down here, I'll show you why this is so lovely. There's Trisha's Chippy. See, people say, do they buy houses on the edge of cliffs? Well, that one's just been sold. This has been redone. This is actually really nice, as you can see it there in the glare. What I love about coming down here is that you could be abroad, my favourite phrase. Sure, not, that's not what they call it, California, but it's a hidden gem down here. As we take a look at the beach, but then as you swing round, look at the view you've got. See a couple of seals out there today. See them, there's one there, there's one over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk up that way, but through the caravan park. Which you get through, through this gate. Which is just here. I've done a lot of work on this site. Most of these used to be tourers and now they're all um, static caravans. There's still a place for tourers though. This is the one with the best view. I mean, they've all got good views here, look, as you can see. With your balconies and nothing but sea. This one's the furthest out. No, incorrect. Over there is. See what kind of view it's got. Yeah, I think these are still going to be tourers around this bit. But if you ever want to walk to Caister, this is how you get there. Obviously you can go on the beach. This is a, a nice walk. I 
do love this walk, it's very peaceful. We've got some great views of the sea and the coast, looking there across the farmland towards Case to the Case of Tower. He's all in full bloom at the moment. So when you come to this area, part of the coastal path, you can go down to the beach in California. It's just down there. Here's a nice little seating area actually to pause, check out the view. There's quite a few of these little hidden seats. I'll show you another one in a minute. Up here, what have we passed it? I'm not sure. I was talking about these little seats. This one has been removed. I don't know why or who removed it, but um, not many people knew about it. Although I'm sure some of you did, but um, yeah, it's been removed. There was a uh, a bench sitting here, which gave this view, which as you can see, is so pretty. And it's almost like a private viewing area, just here. And now all that's left is uh, some steel where it was holding the bench, but yeah. It's a nice little great picture area actually up here, if you want to come up here, just off the path. Let's continue. Back around here. So you can walk straight along this dirt track or you can go down here where there's a promenade a bit like um, the promenade you'd see in Yarmouth but uh, again quite hidden some steps down to it here this is my favorite beach actually California it's interesting to know where California ends see the seals out there if you can see them in the distance where California ends and, and uh, Caster begins. Nice bench there. So you can walk on this promenade, look, all the way down to Caster, and you can even walk along the whole beach down towards Great Yarmouth. We'll do that another day. Let's head back up towards California now. Well, the beach has been taken away recently. It was, uh, the sand was literally pretty high up towards here. And um, the recent stormy weather has taken it off. I always find this as such a great view of looking towards Scrapby, and Hemsby in the distance. As you come and approach this area, as the coastline in Sandy Beach and Sand Dunes go as far as the eye can see, sweeping around, which almost looks like a little bit of an island up there. California's sandy dunes, or sandy cliffs. And obviously California's got quite a lot of erosion going on. Only in very slight areas though, to be fair. So you get, again, this used to be some area where you could launch boats from, but obviously you can't get up on the, can't get down that cliff edge anymore. Absolutely gorgeous day. There's quite a few people on the beach, hopefully they're locals and haven't come down for the day.
so many bugs, it's unbelievable, it's only April. Now there's a few reasons why people call it California. Um, I think the history is they found some gold coins embedded in the cliff or on the beach or something from uh, a Spanish ship that uh, run aground many years ago. I guess some people could say they call it California because uh, it looks very similar to the California coastline if you've ever been over there in the States to the Santa Monica these sweeping sandy clay cliffs. This is such a lovely area to walk to, really secluded. It's quiet and peaceful. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. You've got these little areas here Quite nice. See the wildlife. Randomly, how that rock got there, I don't know. So, thanks for coming along this walk. Hope you enjoyed California. It's quite funny, actually. When uh, when I first moved here, there were these little car stickers you could buy that used to say. Where the hell is California? And now you know.